to surmise. Hi guys. Okay. Suppose that something is true without having evidence to confirm it. Evil, evil sur surmising is written in the Bible for a reason. That's something that God does not like. It ties into gossiping. As children of God and in the body, the Lord does not, he's not pleased with any gossiping. When there's people that are gossiping against the children of God and putting out poison and slandering and mocking and, you know, trying to draw a conclusion about an individual's life, that's not true. But because they want to believe it, they decide to share it anyway. So when you're sharing it with other people, you're, you're, you're speaking death for one over somebody because it's not edifying. Death and life lies in the power of the tongue. If it's not edifying, the Lord says, close your mouth. And this is to people that are doing this to the children of God or people that do this in the body. And maybe you're doing it innocently and you don't, you don't know, but you can be speaking about, you know, different people. And if God did not give you that confirmation, if the Holy Spirit did not give you that confirmation, close your mouth, he says, be quiet. Speaking death over someone, and it's like when a person does that, they have to eat that poison. In this time, God is not playing with um, gossiping, and you know, um, He's not playing with gossiping. He doesn't like it, even in the Word of God. He comes against it. He dislikes it. It causes division. And it invites it, it invites um, all manner of evil to enter in. When you when you put poison out over someone else's life, the consequences of that is is sickness because then you have to eat that poison that you are putting out over somebody else. Something that you believe to be true, but you don't have enough evidence. But because you want to believe it, you decide to open up your mouth and speak those things on under other individuals that God has never told you, things that you don't understand, things that you want to assume. It ties into monitoring spirits as well. Monitoring spirits are tied into witchcraft. They're like a family. They're from a family of familiar spirits. God is saying, those individuals that are being put in their mouth on you, they have to suffer the judgment and the consequence of eating those words, eating poison, the poison that they have put out of their mouth on you that wasn't true, but they decided to embrace it. The Lord has spoken to their spirit and checked their spirit, but they decided to do it and continue to do it and not repent of it and change their mind from it change their mind into being, um, into edifying and taking that thing to Jesus' feet. The Lord says, if you don't know, be quiet. If you don't know, be quiet. Stop having a monitoring spirit trying to find out what's going on. There's people that have been doing this to the children of God, trying to find out what's going on with your life. They have to monitor to see if you slip up or to, to, to come and, and watch you so they can give a report back to someone that they're gossiping with. I've been hearing over and over in the, in the spirit that, that the consequences of that is sickness. There's a lot of people getting sick because they are opening their mouth and putting poison on other people and they have to eat those words and eat that poison and feed on that poison that they put out. And this goes for a lot of your enemies. This is this actually goes for people in the body of Christ that are still doing this as well. God is coming against it. He said, be quiet. Come to him. Mind your business. Get your life together before me. 444. Let he, is, let he who is without sin, he said, cast the first stone. A lot of you um, know people that are, are doing this to you. And the Lord wants you to pray for your enemies. And those that are in the sound of my voice, 
and you're doing this and you're gossiping, even if you think it's innocently, even if you're doing it against a prophet of the Lord, or if you don't understand what they're doing, the Lord said, be quiet. You don't put your mouth on another anointed individual, especially if you don't understand their calling, what God has called them to do. I believe in one of my other videos that, you know, I was sharing that God, he uses his children to do diverse things in the body, in the remnant a diverse work. We're all not going to be doing the same thing that is that that is written in the Bible. And some of us he'll have it doing it has have have us doing it a different way. Don't put your mouth on something that you don't understand. That stops now in the name of Jesus. And I bind that spirit of gossiping. I bind that spirit of a monitoring spirit because it all runs into witchcraft. It's all tied into witchcraft, saying things that are not true, which is say stuff that is not true. And they also um, speak death out of their mouth and, and hoping that something bad will come out of them doing it. Casting, oh, he wanted me to say something about this. There's people, you know, I don't know who this is for, but I just got to interrupt it with this. <laughs> casting love spells, people casting love spells because they want love so bad. The Lord wants you to come against that. Some of that, some of this has been happening to some of you that are listening in the name of Jesus. And some people are actually doing this. There is a lot of uh, spiritualism going on still in, the, um, in, in the church. Right. So the Lord just wanted me to speak on that, to repent from, you know, trying to, I just heard that casting love spells, you know, for people, to, for people to love you and that kind of thing. I'll, whoever this is for in Jesus name. But the Lord is like, he wanted me to speak about gossiping, no more gossiping, mind your business, take it to the throne room, take it to God. If you don't know, even the word of God says, do not lean to your own understanding. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean to your own understanding. Don't make up stuff. Just because you don't understand and you want to understand so bad and your mind is racing because you just, you feel like you got to get an answer over somebody else's life. Mind your purpose, the purpose that God has given you. If you don't know your purpose, please ask God and get before him. This is for someone that needs to hear this. But a lot of this that has been doing it, that this is happening against the children of God, God is not pleased with it. The gossiping, it is, God, people are really reaping what they sow in this hour. If you don't understand, be quiet in Jesus' name. And those, again, that are doing this to you, children of God, pray for your enemies. Because God has been warning a lot of people to stop. And this is, I'm going to tell you the truth. There's a lot of, why a lot of people are, are getting sick and even dying. It's a lot. It's, yeah, 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 yeah. Holy Spirit, Jesus. There's, there's, there's people still in church groups congregating, gossiping. And, and thinking that God is pleased with that. And they don't even, and they think it's innocent. Oh, I'm going to pray for her. And the Holy Spirit, you didn't even get the news from the Holy Spirit was going on with that individual. Especially if they're, you know, they're a child of God and you don't even think they're a child of God, just like the Pharisees. You know what I'm saying? The Pharisees were just Jesus' worst enemies. So listen. God is not pleased with the gossip and those that are gossiping about you and monitoring you, you know, pr pray for them and God's mercy upon their life.